Hi, in the last video we have uh, talked about a little bit of introduction to balance sheet and uh, this is a continuation, this is part two of it. We have seen about a uh, case study on Music Mart with three transactions. At the end of the third transaction this was the picture uh, of the company and we have cash and CDs on one side and we have uh, loan and capital on the other side. Now we will continue uh, with more transactions. So transaction number three. Now we go to transaction number four. Uh, CDs worth 500 are sold at 750. So now we are in business. So we are making a profit actually. The worth of CDs is 500 whereas what I sold for is higher value. So I have made a profit of 2000, sorry, $250. So how do you record this uh, transaction in your balance sheet? So you can pause the video and think of yourself out. And uh, here is the answer if you have it. So, since we are sold at seven, we have sold at seven fifty. The cash account will increase by seven fifty. So, the increase in the cash is three three two five zero now. And since we have sold CDs worth five hundred dollars earlier, there were CDs were worth uh, five thousand dollars. So now five hundred worth of CDs are reduced now. Now my account inventory of CDs is now four thousand five hundred dollars worth. And Therefore, on the left side, on the whole, there is an increase of two fifty dollars. So, how do you uh, how do you balance this on the right side? We have a new entry on the right side called retain earnings, our earnings or retain earnings, which I'll show it as positive two fifty. So, therefore, any profit that this company makes, it is uh, reflected in the retain earnings. Similarly, any loss that company makes, it is also reflected in the retain earnings in the form of a negative number. So, let us look at more uh, transactions now. So this was uh, 4th Jan transaction 4. Okay, we have a new transaction. We have purchased CDs worth 5000 or not we, Music Mart has purchased CDs worth $5,000 and the payment for this will be after 3 days. So the CDs have come to the shop and we have we have the CDs under our ownership but we have not released the payment and the payment will be after 30 days. So again you can pause the video and think of how to record this transaction and uh, here is the answer how to do that. So uh, 5th Jan, now uh, my cash is still the same uh, because I did not release any payment whereas my CDs are uh, increasing by 5000 uh, worth of CDs, earlier it was 4500 now. 9500 so therefore my left side will increase to 42750 my assets have increased but i haven't made any profit because this is just payment after 30 days so we uh, create one more uh, entry on the liability side called payables so these are something that uh, these are the payments that i am about to pay in in short term they are not loans as such long term loans are recorded as loans whereas these payables are kind of short term loans and uh, which is 5000 so this is about this let's go to the next transaction okay uh, series costing 8000 are sold for uh, 9500 again we are in business we are doing good profit but we are sold selling it more than what is it worth it's just a same uh, repeating of what we already done so I think you will be easy, uh, easily getting the answer for this and let's see what's the answer. You can pause if you want. Okay. Uh, so you can see that uh, the cash account, the series account decreased and cash account increased. So basically uh, cash account is increased by 8000 whereas series decreased by, sorry, cash account increased by 9500 whereas uh, series decreased by 8000 and whatever profit 1500 profit that we made in this that is added to the retain earnings and there was already a 250 dollars uh, profit so now my net profit is 1750 okay so this is six so i hope you are uh, following the story how it goes so let's look at the next transaction so john withdrew 1000 rupees from the bank account for his personal use so now this is a tricky one John is the owner of the company but then uh, as we see it's an entity concept so company is different and the owner is different so uh, but John went into the company's bank account took out thousand uh, dollars and he started using for personal use so how do you record this you can again pause and think about it 
So one thing I can tell is surely the cash account will reduce by thousand, and uh, and where else will you remove this thousand rupees? You will remove it from retained earnings. So here it is. So the cash account earlier it was forty two seven fifty. Now it is forty one seven fifty. So cash has reduced. So basically cash moved out of the company, and there are two ways in which you can show. Either you can show reduction in the capital, or the, you can show reduction in the retained earnings. Of this thousand, in this example, we have shown reduction in the retained earnings. The the meaning of taking this thousand from capital or taking thousand from retained earnings is different. If John withdrew thousand rupees for his personal use, and if it is removed from capital, that means he is withdrawing his capital from the company. Whereas if he takes it out from the retained earnings, which means he is he is enjoying the profits of the company, and since he is the whole and sole owner of the company, he can do that. Uh, he can take out the money and use it, but that may not be same when there are other members in the company who are owners. So we will get to that. We we'll look at some more transactions. Okay, so John took seven fifty dollars worth of CDs for his personal use without any payments. So again, this is worse now. He did not pay anything. He just moved into the. Shop and then took the series worth and then just took it to his home and for it and used them for his own personal use. Now, uh, what do you do about this? So obviously the series account will decrease by seven fifty, and again the payments, uh, the without payment, so therefore it will, it is a effective, it's in effect a loss, so it will be recorded in the retained earnings. So if you see uh, the series are now earlier it was. Fifteen hundred. Now it becomes series as seven fifty, and the retained earnings is zero now. So far, so good. Let's look at some more transactions. Okay, um, John sold half of his capital share worth twelve thousand five hundred dollars to Khan at a price of fifteen thousand dollars. So here we see that. Uh, This is not the share, it is not the regular business of the company. We are not selling the series, but we are selling the ownership of the company itself. So John sold half of his capital share to Khan at price of fifteen, whereas the capital share worth is only twelve thousand five hundred. So Khan very well knows that when he enters the business, his capital share would be shown as twelve thousand five hundred. And this is not raising new capital; it is just transfer of capital share from one person to the other person. So uh, again, pause the video and see how you can record this transaction in your balance sheet. Or now, let us uh, see what happens now. So uh, the asset side is exactly same. There is nothing happening on the asset side. Whereas on the liability side, you can see the John's capital was twenty-five. Now it become twelve thousand five hundred, and Khan's capital is now again twelve thousand five hundred. So there is a split up of twenty five thousand into two pieces. Uh, if I can show you the earlier uh, balance sheet, it is twenty five thousand of capital was under John, and now sorry, this one is the now. So this is the break up of this. But you may ask one question now. There is a difference here, fifteen thousand and twelve thousand five hundred. So somebody made a profit of two thousand five hundred dollars. So won't that come in the music mark balance sheet? Again, uh, remember the entity concept. Balance sheet is different, and uh, the markets, uh, the the music marts accounts are different, and John's accounts are different. So this difference of fifteen and twelve thousand five hundred dollars, two thousand five hundred profit is made by John, but not by the music mark company. so uh, this is about uh, sharing of the capital we will see some more concepts in the coming videos uh, in fact the next transaction is about uh, shares so this will giving a little insight into the share market but i think i will take this uh, transaction up in the next video so you can think of the answer in the meantime see you in the next video